This is Fred Beckham from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by Victorious Jarvis. Yes. Congratulations, uh, Misfits 155 it. champ. How's it all feel? And the new, it feels insane. All the hard work paid off the last couple months, you know. It was a tough camp and we did it. We got the job done. It was a war, five straight rounds, and uh, we came out victorious. Talking about the first round, you guys had an exchange and he, and he went down in the first 15 seconds. What was yeah. the punch you caught him with? Uh, I think it was a hook. It was a left hook that got him down. You know, he definitely looked shocked. So you exchanged left hooks and he went down? Yeah, yeah, he went down and uh, that definitely gave me a boost, but he got right back up, got right back in the fight, and uh, we just went at it. Did you consider trying to get him out there in the first round? Was it tempting? You know, I was trying, but bro, when I was fucking hitting him in the head, uh, it felt like concrete when I was punching him. He's got the hardest head I've ever hit. That's, that's why your hand is like that? My hand is fucked right now. My knuckles are bruised up, so uh, I definitely need some time to heal up. But, uh, you know, respect to beat there. That was a crazy fight. Were there any points in the fight where you thought, this is it, so I can get him out of here, finally? Uh, there was definitely some points, but, you know, I kept hitting him. And, uh, you know, it was just concrete. He was just, he was going backwards, but he wasn't going down. Want to credit, Brendan, did you come in the interview here? Oh, sorry, I didn't notice you there, my bad. What was it like sharing <laughs> the ring? Did you, come, go, you can go there next to Jarvis. Congrats, champ. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. What was it like sharing the ring with Jarvis tonight? It was good. It was good. His head's harder than shit. My well, he he just said shit. the same about you. Yeah, his head is also hard. <laughs> I remember I hit him with as hard as I landed. So good, too. Yeah. As hard as I could. And he ate that shit. And I was like, fuck. We were just talking about the first round of the exchange. Was it a left hook that he caught you with that went down? Yeah, I have no idea, honestly. Yeah, we'll have to watch it back. I think it was a left hook. I think we both traded, and uh, he went down and took an eight count and then was back up and, you know, back ready to fight. Did B. Dave hurt you at all in that fight? Yeah, there was definitely some moments where, like, I, he hit me hard and I was down, but I came back, you know, it took me one, two seconds to, like, recuperate, and I was just back in there. Mm. How far do you think Brendan can go in this Impulse Boxing? He's shown heart, he's shown courage. What do you think is next to Brendan? You know, every, you know, every fight he's improved. Uh, he's got better and better. He won the full five rounds. You know, I, I didn't think he was going to be able to, you know, last those full five rounds, you know, throwing that many punches. You know, with the Pineda fight, it was a three-round fight, and he looked really gassed. But, you know, you can tell that he's taken it seriously, and he's trained hard. Mm. And same question for you, slightly opposite, though. What's next to Jarvis? Who do you think he should share the ring with next? Jarvis is going to fight whoever can make it down to 155 and is the best <laughs> challenge for the belt, I suppose. Pineda, maybe? You can try and get revenge? I don't know. Does Pineda forget down to 155? I'm not sure. He's maybe. skinny at that weight, to be fair. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Whoever. Whoever's the best we'll challenge he'll probably we'll take. He'll probably beat him, honestly. I don't see anyone else at 155 <laughs> fucking with him. And obviously, just a couple more things. Um... There's obviously they got the January card, the Brazil card, and then hopefully Ethan Joella pay for you in March. When do you think we'll see you out again? Have a little time to rest and recuperate. Well, tonight I'll be fighting a few fellas at the bar, getting drunk. As we saw then, earlier with Ed Matthews. And as far as my next fight, I don't know whenever they call, you know? Awesome. Well, guys, congratulations. That was a great show you put on. And, yeah, we can't wait to see you again. Well done, guys. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you, man. Perfect. You guys feeling all right, man?